What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, good to be here. Uh, just rock and rolling at work, doing my thing here at the house. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail. That's all it is, just basically life. Got something cool for you. Let's just jump right into this. It's an Apollo 14 photo we're going to examine. And I think you're going to find it pretty interesting because when you look at this, it's like I've said before, are they there for checking out rocks, moon dust, taking samples back, that sort of thing? The answer is no. It's as simple as that. It's always been a recon mission. And when you see some of the things that are laying on the ground on this super brighted out photo, and it's not just brighted out, it's also manipulated. And you're going to see that right now. Let's just jump right into it. All right. You can see it right here. It's from NASA.gov. So you can see it right here. You can see the crossing or intertwining wheel marks. Sometimes you can't even see where they start and where they finish, interestingly enough. But we're going to get into that. Notice that we can see the test equipment. Now, what are they testing? Is it simply dust or is it a special rock over there they need to see? Or is this something more? So let's just get into this and take a closer look. Okay, here it is. Let's center this photo. There you go. Now, here's the thing. Let me show you the tracks real quick. You can see them. But you can see where they start and where they end right here. Now, the X right here I have is they go a hair bit more than where I ended those green lines. And you can see that right here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this. You can see just right over here under the X, you can see that right there. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of it. You can see it. Okay. Now, the funny thing is when you look at the tracks, we're going to just back out a little bit. They kind of just end and don't start anywhere. Look at the green ones where they start. It's It doesn't even make sense. It's almost like they just scribbled out the marks or whatever. I don't even know how to explain it. Now, this yellow line tracks, I don't know if they do actually go back out and kind of circle around, but you don't see where these start. That's what doesn't make any sense. So they're literally taking out parts of the photo because if you can't see it, meaning the tracks, where they start and where they loop around, whatever it is that they're doing, because clearly they had to loop around and come back and do this other uh, drive. I mean, did they back up perfectly and align the wheel marks going forward and backwards? I find it hard to believe, right? So anyway, we got that there. Now, the first thing I do in any of these photos is I equalize the photo. This is what it looks like. Most of the left-hand side is completely, it's been manipulated, right? I'll go back to the original. Where's the most dullest, no detail taken up? It's on the left-hand side. And where is it discolored? On the left-hand side. So if we were to get into this photo, and again, the test equipment's way in the back, right? What you'll notice in the back, and we'll zoom into this, is that you'll see there is these white objects suddenly pop up. Now, watch this. I'm just going to slide it over here. You can see it up in the top left, like I said, and you can see the little bit of white, but you see all this greenish kind of crap over it. This is a manipulation. Now, I don't know if this was done later on when the photos came out, much later, or if it was done with acetate and they just done this over it. Something tells me, and I can almost guarantee, that they went back into these photos years after to erase and manipulate and try to sanitize the photo. Now, let's put a little blur into this so we can get rid of the, some of this pixelation. Notice how all of a sudden we have these weird shapes. Not so much the white. Look at the outlines of these other objects right there. Do you see that? Right there. I'm going to go back and forth with this. Notice how it has this part sticking out right in that area. You'll have to look at it with a magnifying glass if you can't see it. In fact, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more, and you can see that area. See it? You can see that. Okay. Also, let's check out these white pieces again. Right there, that big white one right there. It looks like it's white, and it has what looks like a square and a right edge right there. Do you see that? Is a square pot, and it looks like a straight edge right there. It's real fine, but it's there. There's other objects in here as well, and we're going to keep going with this, and we're going to show you the enhancement as we go along. There's much, much more in this photo, folks. Anything that's got a little bit lighter signature, we're going to bring it right out. Okay. Notice this object a little bit lower on the right-hand side. Right there. And the more we get into this, I'm going to show you this. It has what looks like an arch. And it has a bunch of other pots laying all over the place. Let's slowly get into this. Okay. Again, bring up the whites. You can see that. Whiter pieces. But look at the objects that are starting to come out of this. Watch this. Step by step. Okay. 
Now, it does get to the point where it gets cluttered with stuff. Starting to bring it out more and more. Let's keep going. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, in the front of the photo, there's all the little objects there, too. Okay? Now, if we go into this part here, notice the arch and these other arrows, these little pieces that are now popping up, little parts here. Watch those. So, the ones on the right, we're going to go ahead and put them in the middle of the photo. It looks like these parts, ones on the lower arrow, appears to have like an arch-shaped part to it, and then it goes back. In other words, it has a longer piece, like it's rectangular. The one above it looks like it has more of a square frame opening, and it goes into the other rest of the body of this part, whatever it may be. Again, right here in the middle, we have what looks like an arched-out piece on this white item. What could this thing be? And this one here... It's just parts laying on the ground, these subtle little things that are just laying there, right? We'll keep going. And folks, as usual, pause it any way you like. Have a better look at this stuff. It's absolutely crazy. More stuff starting to pop out. Keep going. Black and white it. We'll bring this back up to color for a second because I want you to notice this as well. There's this little part almost looks like it's rectangular but it's sticking out like right here you'll see it right up on the top here center right there let's zoom into that again look at the little pieces like that are near it we're doing the best we can to bring this stuff out folks because again we have an overlay i don't know if it's directly on the photo or a piece of acetate over the photo and either way you're trying to get through this to try to bring out the actual lines to whatever these things may be and again, there's no way we're going to know what these things are. Just in a million years, we'll never know. We can try, but you know how that goes. And again, I'm going to just point out these objects right there. See how there's nothing there? And like I said, this part alone, this is crazy. When I first started doing this, again, white, nothing there. And you can still see them white pieces uh, in the back here. If you look carefully on the left, like I said, uh, just behind this test equipment, Right here, you can see that. You can still see the white. Again, bring this up. Put some blur. And notice how put everything white and you take details out of the photo, right? But again, we have that other part here. Right there. That's crazy. That just pops out of nowhere. And you can see that after blurring it. See it? Grainy, blur. I'm not drawing the stuff in, folks. It's there. And again, right there. Enhance it. Folks, look at the junk that's laying here. There's also another item right here. You see the arrows right here. Now, all the way down towards the tracks where there's this bend right over here. Look at this long object laying on the ground right there. Folks, what are we looking at here? What is that? You see that? You can see there's something there laying there. And it's right near the wheel marks. Funny enough, they went right around it. Hmm. So... It makes you wonder, why do they bob and weave around things on the ground? You would think they'd go right from here where the flag is. Now, there is a small crater there. But they could have just simply went out there and went straight back. So it makes you wonder, why go making these curves and everything else? going Because they're going around objects, folks. You can see that. Again, I'm going to get into this. We're going to do a black and white as well. Here's a fully enhanced with all of the items enhanced and most of it brought out. Now, again, we're not going to bring out every bit of detail because it wasn't meant to be seen. But whatever these things are, you can see they got the equipment right there at this stuff. They're probably testing the material it's made out of, the weight of it, whatever it may be. They're taking samples of it. There you go. Black and white it. Bring it back in. So we're not fooled by any colors. Back to the color. Again, that object there. That white one in the back. And like I said, folks, you can see the details in these items. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom into that again. See it? That's pretty crazy. But it is, in fact, there. And again, we'll back up a little bit. Again, just have a look at it with your magnifiers, folks, and check this stuff out. 100%, they're literally driving around these objects and then stopping somewhere 
right around where that X is so that they walked the rest of the way. Why? Because there's objects all over the place. You can see that. So they had to stop literally. Again, watch where this X mark is. See that? Watch where that is. It's about right. If they kept going, they would have ran right into this. See it? So they stopped. It's as simple as that. And that's exactly what they did. Again, this is a reconnaissance mission. They always have been. And again, we're talking about a good distance away from the lander because the lander is the one that's got the camera on it. You can see part of it right here, the shadow of the, the lander right there. You can see it in the photo, in the lower middle of the photo and on the left. So the, the camera is being used on the lander to take photo of these objects. So they're a little bit distance away from the actual lander, right? But there you go. Tell me what we're looking at here. Folks, like I said, all of these missions were reconnaissance uh, mission, basically. Every single one of them. You know, when it came to, like, Apollo 10, they just orbited around uh, the moon to get the feel of the spacecraft and scoping out an area where they want to land, right? And again, folks, there's some doubters out there say, oh, we never went to the moon. 100% we went to the moon. This is proof. Again, let's go back. If we're all, like, in this big think tank and we want to fake this big time, we're like, we're not going to leave anything on the set. We're going to make sure everything's completely void of anything that we could possibly leave on the stage other than the moon buggy, the dirt, and the fake hills and whatever else, right? So why are we finding these objects in there that have been manipulated out? Well, that's because there's actually objects there, and they, in fact, were on the moon, and they're checking these things out. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to hear what you've got to see. Don't forget to like and share the video, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, we are back. We will be rocking more of these. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.